Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. I guess this could fall under the auspices of the restoration blog section. You all know the Vincent Black Shadow motorcycle. Vincents are one of the most legendary motorcycles of all time, but the great thing about the Vincent is people still ride them to this day. There are a lot of motorcycles that wind up in museums or they just don't get used, whereas Vincent owners tend to use them. Now you can get a stock Vincent like mine right over here. That's just about the way it left the factory except for the air cleaners. And then you got a guy like Laney over here who modifies it so it's more modern in traffic, it's updated, it's got a lot of cool stuff on it, starting with the suspension. Uh, the, the Vincent motorcycle was legendary and it had suspension front and back. It was the first monoshock, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, Laney's a suspension guy. Tell us about the suspension on the Vincent motorcycle. Well, you know, um uh, the Vincent engine is legendary and the power of the motorcycle and the way it looked uh, really gave it a cachet. But what a lot of people don't really appreciate and what I am obsessed about is that this was the most sophisticated um, suspension of its day by decades. Uh, Vincent made a fully suspended motorcycle during the days when most every motorcycle company had, uh, had an unsuspended rear end, um, a rigid rear end with only suspension in the front. I really wanted to, um, to develop the suspension as if it were a modern motorcycle, keeping the geometry that it, that, that it had. And uh, you know, why don't we point out your motorcycle sure. here since it's standard. You know, there are a lot of vehicles, anytime anybody messes with them, all the purists run down and go, oh my God, you can't do that. No, that's not stock. It didn't leave the factory that way. But Vincent guys are a bit more open because Vincent's can be ridden and used just like a modern motorcycle. So consequently, you want to have those updated features, be it more powerful lighting, be it turn signals, and of course, suspension. Uh, as you can see, there are three shocks on a Vincent. There are two springs, and then the center one is hydraulic which worked quite well in its day, didn't it? Yeah, but it was a very primitive design. Yeah. You know, Vincent had to make its own shock absorbers because there weren't any on the market that would fit on a motorcycle. And, um, and as a result, uh, it just had a, a shock absorber with a single little hole in it, uh, and you couldn't tune it. You know, the thing about um, moving oil through a hole if you've got uh, a strong force, it backs up. Right. It doesn't go through the hole. Right. And so modern, let me show you, uh, let me show you this. This is, um, this is the piston of the, uh, of the works performance shock that I have. And notice it doesn't have one hole. It has one, oh. It, it has a jillion holes. Right. And each of these holes were covered with, uh, with a little spring and a, and a ball and they open up based on the amount of uh, uh, pressure. And so you can tune it for the exact amount of road force. And the faster you go, the more force that, 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 that the bumps take. And so you can tune it and get a really nice ride, a soft ride that is still uh, firm and, um, and responsive. Cool. And so well, all I did was I, I, I took the Vincent shocks and I made, um, I had works performance um, um, out here in the valley. These are all made in the US and they are highly tuned uh, shock absorbers. I have a, a, a tuned uh, rear one and a tuned front one. Vincent in its day, this front shock is the same as the, the rear, rear shock, yeah. 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 And um, now, didn't was it yeah. Spax? Somebody made a shock for the front. Spax and, right. and uh, Coney both right. made shocks, the same shock, front and rear. Mm -hmm. And what they did was they was they copied the specifications of the Vincent shock, and it and it was a lot more sophisticated, but it wasn't a tuned shock. Right. And um, uh, what's interesting is that if you look at this. Uh, originally, this design was for suspension um, without a shock absorbers. These spring boxes here, and this is a friction bearing here, and you tighten this up, and that tightens the friction that the springs work against. Right. And springs in those days were really stiff to eliminate uh, excessive wheel travel and right. oscillation. 
And modern, uh, modern springs are a lot softer, and the shock absorbers, which are highly tuned, are what does all the work. So anyway, you put modern uh, suspension, modern components on an ancient Vincent geometry, and it just rides like a new bike. It's right. absolutely amazing. Yeah. Absolutely well, well, amazing. Well, your bike has it. Let's take a look at what yeah. his bike looks like. As you can see, it has the, uh, the single shock. It's a, it's a coil over mono, mono shock. Now, do you get a lot of, good heavens, Nigel, look at this. People thinking you've somehow desecrated it? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. You can buy this two ways. You can buy, a lot of people prefer the coil over mono shock because right. they think it's, they're going to be a chick magnet or something. Right. It's a yeah, that'll be it. Yeah, yeah. Chicks <laughs> love coil over shocks. Uh, they go crazy for them. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'll be a chick magnet, yeah. But I also make the same setup that looks completely stock. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, what I've done, this is, this, is, this is the original spring box. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was the uh, spring. It's about a, uh, it's about a um, uh, 200 pound spring. And there were two of these. So it was about 400 pounds. And this is mine. Whoops. Mine is much longer. It's a uh, softer spring. The spring box is longer itself oh, to I accommodate see, yeah. that. Sure, sure. And, um, and you put it on the bike, and the bike stands a little uh, taller, but you put, the, you put this and this shock absorber uh, on the rear, and you can't really tell the difference. Yeah, that's great. That's yeah, a great yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then these are my uh, these are my uh, springs for the front, which are which are uh, much longer and softer. They're a little harder to put on because they got a lot more uh, pre pre preload pre that yeah. you have to absorb. And so this is a uh, this is part of the kit that I make so that you can uh, put the the uh, spring box into a holder and then you clamp it down and then you you install it with a preload into the rear. I see. So that's the uh, story and it rides great. Very good. Now obviously people... You should put one on your bike. It'll, I should put one on my bike. It'll uh, change your life. I've got this one over here. That's the Eggly. Uh, oh yeah. Thing. Yeah. That's a lot of fun that thing too. Uh -huh. And uh, did you put electric start on yours as well? I got electric start. I've got all I've got all the modifications. There's a guy in Canada that makes an alternator for these. Right. I've got the electric start, which is made in uh, France. There's a guy in Holland that makes a conversion for twin leading shoe. Wow. There's a guy in Australia that uh, makes a modern clutch for it. And uh, you put all these mods on the bike, and it's just a phenomenal bike. It's like the UN. you got every country <laughs> represented in this thing. It's pretty amazing. Well, that's, this is one of the best Vincents I've seen. Modern lighting, modern braking. Laney's done here has taken essentially a 60-year-old design and updated it to where it's as fast and as fun as a modern bike. So. Yeah, but it still, you know, it still looks, it still looks like a Vincent. It still has the Vincent. And this dual is really labor and, love because there aren't that many Vincents out there. It's not like you're selling hundreds of Vincents every month. <laughs> I sell one kit a month. About. One kit yeah, a month. Uh -huh. Ooh, slow I've down. Sold, huh? I've, <laughs> I've sold hundreds over over the last 15 yeah, years. Yeah. No, so, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Laney, yeah. thank you very much. Sure, so, well, it's a pleasure. If you're a Vincent Jay. owner, something to consider. If you know, if your if your Vincent rides hard, or you got the, that front end wobble. Oh, and tell them about the uh, the front wobble in case anybody knows about that. Oh, oh. Uh, well, this bike was designed by Phil Irving, right? And um, I met him before he died at a Vincent rally in Holland. And uh, I was fascinated about suspension, and I asked him about the front suspension, you know, because Vincent's had a rap about speed, speed wobbles. And what that know? is, you're going about 50, and then suddenly the bike, the handlebars really start hitting the tank, slamming yeah. it. Yeah. And he said, oh, no, oh, no, it's a, it's a good design, of course, because he, right. he, he, he said, you know what to do if you get into a speed wobble. And I said, what? And he said, you just take your hands off the handlebars. Take your hands off the handlebars. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it makes sense. It's like that thing, if a bear's attacking you, lie down and play dead. Yeah. If the bear's coming at you, it seems silly to just lie down and play dead, but it works. <laughs> yes. It's the same thing with Vincent. If the, just take your hand off the bars, and it goes away. So 15 years later, yeah. I, uh, I had gone to a party, maybe I'd had too much to drink uh -huh. or something, but I was coming home 
and I got into a speed wobble. And it was one of those things, the wheel just violently went back and forth. And I heard this little voice saying, just take your hand off the handlebar. Yeah, you and were I, drinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I took my hand off the handlebar, and it straightened up. Yeah, so there you and go. I put my hands back on the handlebar and rode back, and then I broke out into a sweat. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. It doesn't make any sense, but it works. Lanny, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Jay.